Okay, good evening everyone. Thank you for joining me for another PJ story time. And before we get to the story and all that, um, just a few announcements. As you may have noticed, PJ story time hasn't been coming out on Tuesday. We're working on a new schedule, so stay tuned on our social media for that. And this story time does have a little craft kit. It's gonna look something like this. So we'll talk more about what this is exactly after the story because it's kind of related. Um, but it essentially, it's a visual schedule. So if you used one of these before, I think these are great. And the reason why we're even talking about schedules and stuff like that is because this is a back to school episode. So yay. Um, how are you feeling about going back to school? You can talk to your family, whoever's there with you. Are you like excited because maybe you like to get new pencils or new highlighters or uh, or maybe you're a little nervous because it's virtual and you're not sure how that works or yeah just how are you feeling like I feel like I'm, I'm going to school still <laughs> um, my school is all virtual as well I'm um, not sure some of you might be going hybrid so there's a lot of different things there and what we have here is how our animal friends are gonna deal with their first day of school. This is First Day Critter Jitters by Jari John and illustrated by Liz Climo. I love this book. I know, I feel like I said it a lot, but I, obviously I pick books I love. And um, I think you really enjoyed this one. So we'll see maybe what kind of animal we can relate to. Like, are you the kind that is like, maybe a little more nervous because you know you have a lot of energy or do you just, are a little shyer so we'll see how they handle that but first another thing uh, we are in the middle of our winter activity challenge so if you haven't registered for that yet you still have a chance uh, it goes until February 2nd and if you want to learn more information you just go to escondidolibrary.org slash winter and there should be one for every age so from baby to adult so go check it out Okay, so again, this is our book, First Day Critter Jitters. So, how do you think they feel just based off the cover here? We see a lot of, oh, like a gulp, oh, like when you're nervous, and like a, like a sigh. Yeah, they, they look a little on edge, like maybe they're a little stressed out or worried. So, let's jump right into it. Uh, we would like to thank Dial Books for Young Readers for allowing us to share this with you. Okay, here's our first friend. You know what this is? It looks like a sloth. Am I nervous about the first day of school? I mean, sure. After all, have you seen how slow these sloths walk? Like, I should have probably left yesterday. Hmm, yes, sloths are pretty slow. So what do you have going on here? Uh oh, I will get to school in time on the chalkboard. Ooh, how many more times do I have to write this? 998. Hmm, trust me, you don't want to be late on the first day of school. Oh no, you think this is something he's thinking about? And he's like, uh oh, I think I'm gonna get in trouble the first day of school. Ooh, that's something stressful to think about, right? Hmm. The next one, that a yeah, it looks like a snake to me. Why am I painting back and forth? I'll tell you why. I literally spent all last night and this morning trying to get a backpack onto my body. Oh, do you think snakes can wear backpacks? Looks like backpacks normally have a little loop that's meant for maybe if you have two limbs. So, hmm, maybe this kind of backpack doesn't work. Guess what? It didn't work, dude. Oh yeah, sorry, snake. Mm -mm. Let's try it though. Duct tape, a belt, mm -mm. that doesn't work. How will I carry my art supplies? Where will I keep my stuff? Sorry, where will I put my stuff? Uh-oh. So again, he's imagining here. Oh, everyone else has their books and their lunch. He's cool. Mm -hmm. He's worried that might get in the way of him doing good at school, right? 
Hmm. What do we have here? Looks like a mouse. Why am I so anxious? Because they're bigger than me. Who's they? All of them. Uh-oh. Like it's a little nervous. Who's chewing on that pencil? Uh oh. Well, those definitely seem bigger than a mouse. You seem bigger than cool. Yeah. Even a bunny is bigger than a mouse. Oh wow. What do we have here? This is super fun. It's a kangaroo. Am I tense? Yeah, I haven't really spent a great deal of time outside of the pouch, to be quite honest. So this is going to be new for me. Also, I'm cold and I miss my mom. Oh. See? So he misses his mom. He's not used to being by himself for now. Ooh. What's here? What is he imagining? He's just gonna make a, a mom little sand sculpture and be hiding in it the whole time. Oh. Maybe next year I'll be ready. Oh. See that? Oh, he's expecting to be a little, a little shy and scared, huh? Okay. What do we have here? You've probably seen these, right? A parrot. I'm feeling skittish. Here's why. I have a tendency to repeat things that other animals say. Like one time, somebody said to me, please stop talking, just this once. And then I kept repeating, please stop talking, just this once. Please stop talking, just this once. Uh-oh. Yeah, parrots do talk quite a bit, right? So maybe because he's a little different, he's afraid people are gonna react badly to him. We'll see here. What is he imagining now? Hey, you cut in line. 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 Hmm. I have a feeling that it's not going to fly at school. Okay. Who's our next animal friend here? Looks like a mole, right? You see, moles usually are um, have really bad eyesight. Well, we'll see what the issue here is. I worry that I won't be able to see the chalkboard. How big are chalkboards, by the way? Uh-oh, what is he imagining? He's imagining this is gonna be a complete mess. Like, nothing going on here. Uh -oh. What about this one? This one should be very familiar. Looks like a teddy bear. Well, a bear. <laughs> it's just some very fluffy looking. Me? Um, well, as you can see, I'm not coming out. Can I just dream about school instead? Hmm. Uh, I had this too, right? Sometimes you're too comfortable in bed and you're like, oh, I have to get up that early. Yeah, you can dream about school, but then you still have to go to school. <laughs> okay. What do you have here? A bunny. I have a lot of energy. Like, a lot of energy. So what if I'm in class and I want to hop around, but I have to sit still instead? I just have so much energy. Oh, poor bunny. So what is he imagining here? He's thinking, uh-oh, I'm not gonna be able to sit still. Looks like he's making a mess. And the teacher is putting them in time out. Mm, so he expected to get in trouble, huh? Okay, we're back with Sloth. So, yeah, I've already been traveling towards a bus stop for 20 minutes and I'm still at my front door. I should really learn to ride a bike. Eesh. Sounds like a good idea. Here's Snake walking back. Bye bye backpack. Bye bye lunch. Bye bye art supplies. Oh no, Snake couldn't carry anything. What about bear? I'm exhausted. Aren't you supposed to be hibernating right now? Hmm. And bunny here can't stop hopping so much energy. Can't stop hopping so much energy. And bear is like, my eyelids won't 
stop closing. I'm almost to the sidewalk. I can do this. Just a few more blocks to go. Yes, feel the burn. Lots of exercise here for a slob. Oh, and little kangaroo. Right now, my mom and I will be reading a book together and drinking hot chocolate with marshmallows. Do buses have hot chocolate? Hmm. I've never been to a bus with hot chocolate. Ooh. So how are they feeling by now? They're just thinking about all the things that could go wrong, so they're very... <sighs> I'm very worried, I think. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and the bus. Still worried. <sighs> Big sigh. And then, in class. <sighs> Another big sigh. But now that they're in class, let's see how they do. <gasps> the door swings open. Go. <clears throat> Oh, you see what that is? What do you think that is? Excuse me, do you know what that rock is doing up there? Do you think that's a rock? Let's see. Hello, anybody home? Maybe it's sleeping. I mean, I get it. Oh, look. Looks like it was an armadillo. Oh, yes. Um, good morning, everybody. I'm your uh, teacher, Mr. Sherwood. Oh, it's a teacher. It's an armadillo. Whoa, did that rock just start talking? It's a talking rock. Uh, <laughs> I'm a rock. As you'll see, once I'm unfurled, I'm actually an armadillo. But I think I'm going to remain in this ball shape, at least for a little bit. That's um, sort of how I roll, no pun intended, when I'm nervous. You're nervous, but we're nervous. I don't know. Do you think teachers get nervous too? Yeah, adults still get nervous all the time. But this was a surprise for them, right? They're like, why is the teacher nervous? Okay, here are his thoughts. Uh, well, yes, I feel a bit silly about this, but I have plenty to be nervous about. The, the truth is, I'm, I'm rather forgetful. What if I can remember all your names? What if I forget the last thing I said? What if I can't recall where I put my chalk? Oh, looks like he's thinking very like, what could happen? He's maybe sucking himself out a little bit. It's very worried looking. Uh-oh. Hmm, so they're all thinking. Hmm, what can I do to help the teacher? Don't worry, Mr. Sherwood. I may be a tiny mouse, but I have the memory of an elephant. And I'll help you remember our names using a mnemonic device. For example, my name's Chauncey, and I like cheese. See how that works? Oh, you ever heard of one of those? It's a good way to remember things sometimes. Can you think of one with your name? Kind of like, um, my name is Abril, so, and I like avocados, maybe. <laughs> I feel like avocados, so that works. And what is Perry gonna do? And I'll repeat everything you say, even when you don't want me to. See how that works? See how that works? And I'll be on chalk duty. Yeah, Slick is very good at that, right? It must be very strong. Mr. Sherwood, you have to come out of that ball. I'm so excited about everything you had to teach us. I can barely contain myself. Yeah, but he's very excited. What does kangaroo have to say? Listen, Mr. Sherwood, I know how you feel. Sometimes it feels safer in the pouch, or ball. But we are all in this together. Yes, I suppose you're right. Thank you, everybody. I'm feeling much better already. Now, how about the mnemonic device? Um, Charlie, was it? Was it Charlie? Not quite. Did he remember the word mnemonic? I sure to get so. Okay, so let's see how they're doing here. My name is Nelly, and I like naps. That's a pretty good one, too. I can see if you can come up with one with your name. 
looks like fun. And for Snake, the kangaroo is saying, you can share my textbook. How nice is that? That way not everyone has to carry a really heavy textbook too. Oh, and for Mo, see how the teacher's helping Mo? Just letting them know, oh, I need extra help. Maybe I need to be a little closer to the chalkboard. And there you go, he's working with him. Oh, we see Buddy sitting still, right? He thought he wasn't gonna be able to sit still, but look at him, he's enjoying his book. And of course, we see Mouse was afraid to be tiny, but look, with the help of his friends, they can get their stuff done. And now they're just having lunch. The cheese looks really good. And the seeds? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I see you also bring sandwiches for lunch. But... Oh, it looks like they're in recess, maybe. The teacher let me sit in the front row, and the chalkboard was clear. I saw a hummingbird. He's the same size as me. Oh, so he wasn't the tiniest one in the school. And again, even if he was, he has great friends with him. I somehow managed to stay awake so far. Yay. I guess my backpack wasn't all that important. I sat still, at least for a little while. Now it's recess, so I can run around a lot. It's true. You do get a chance to get all that energy out in your little breaks. Being out of the pouch is so scary after all. Being out of the pouch is so scary after all. Being out of the pouch is so scary after all. Being out of the pouch is so scary after all. Okay, thank you, Parrot. <laughs> yeah, looks like they're having fun. I'm having the recess. I taught my first class and it went pretty well. Nice. Hey, Mr. Sherwood was uh, nervous too, but you know, they all got through it together. We did it. Nice. And now they're walking home or flying home. That must be nice. <laughs> uh oh, but who did we forget about? <gasps> Our sloth friend. Um, hi. Am I late? Uh, little friends are like. Well, there's always tomorrow. And I have an idea. Oh, how do you think they're gonna help Sloth? Looks like they already have a plan. Hmm. And the next day. Whee! Oh, look at that. I mean, that works out. The snakes are usually very fast. And look, Sloth is helping Snake carry their backpack. So they can bring a lot of their own stuff too. So little mouse is guiding the whole troop. Thank you, mouse. Very nice. And it looks like they're a lot less nervous for the next day of school. The end. I just want to show you this picture. Oh, how cute. He got glasses. <laughs> like me. <laughs> and that's the story. So I hope you enjoyed that one. This will be available for checkout if you want to read it yourself. It's a new book, so it's relatively fresh. <laughs> Okay, so which of our animal friends can you relate to the most when it comes to school or maybe in general, uh, whatever you worry about? Um, I feel like for me, I feel like for me, at least when I remember when I started kindergarten, I was definitely the kangaroo because I would just hang around and you're like, where am I? <laughs> like I'm so used to, you know, being with my mom or family and now you're in a new place with a teacher and students. So that was definitely like the biggest thing for me. So when it comes to how they were thinking, they were really thinking like ahead, right? Um, they were just seeing like, I'm just expecting to get in trouble. I'm expecting it to go bad or that I'm gonna fail. And that was kind of really psyching them out. But when they saw that their teacher was also nervous, what do you think? Did that change them a little bit? The, in a way that it make them feel more like, oh good, because I'm nervous too. <laughs> I feel like that helps sometimes. So speaking of which, since a lot of you might be going to school fully online, or like I said, hybrid, depending on your school, um, I have together this visual kit. So essentially what you use this for is to kind of block out what your school day is gonna look like. 
because sometimes when you're going to school at home it just feels like am i gonna sit here the whole day or am i just gonna forget about my homework or like what's happening so um i like using this a lot for me i like to do i block out with different highlighters kind of like this is when i have this class this is when i'm gonna work on this but with this for example you have a pocket something like this you can name it today or you can name it to do and then you can have a separate pocket that can be your done pocket or your finished pocket however you like and in here you'll see here and when we get to the crafting table but i made some preset ones that you can print out for example this one for class time and then this one for setting up your classroom this is something i really like to do when uh, you go to school at home you can make your classroom area make it look nice make it smell nice anything that you like nearby i like having water for sure <laughs> i feel like i need to get up for water quite a bit so setting up your classroom is a great one but you also gotta make sure to take breaks so for example i have one for a water break i have one for um a movement break i have one for lunch so you can customize this depending on what you feel like for example let's say you worked on homework for mm, like 20 minutes or 30 minutes and you say well now i want a movement break i feel like i need to move i've been standing still too long i gotta get that energy out <laughs> so just something like that i i started with 15 minutes i'll work on homework for 15 minutes then for like five minutes, I will go to the bathroom or like just move and then 15 minutes again. So if you prefer that, you can always start with that. But yes, I'll show you how to put this together. In particular, the pocket. Oh, that's not the pocket. The pocket <laughs> uh, in the crafting station. So let's head on over. Okay, welcome to the crafting station. So again, this story time does the craft kit. They might look something like this. Of course, the colors will vary in terms of the ruler and the paper you can get in the back. So we'll just dump everything out so we can see what's in here. Okay, so first things first, in your bag, you do get a little paper letting you know what should be in there that way you can have a little checklist. And of course, uh, letting you know what story time goes along with this and where you can find all our stuff. And for the main part of the visual schedule, but these are just examples. So for you, maybe you need a few more of the class time little squares, because maybe for you, you don't have class like in a row, like just three hours of class. Now maybe for you, it's like an hour and then an hour gap and then another class. So that's a good thing to note. But these are the ones that I thought were like essentials. You definitely want to have um, things that allow you to de-stress and get some energy out. Uh, as well as, of course, you know, keep yourself hydrated and all that good stuff. And besides this one, you get a blank one. That way you can start already saying, okay, well, I want to make some for maybe brushing my teeth or something like that. Or if you just want to keep it to school, we can have uh, my math homework. Like if you want to go by subject and that way you can independently say, I want to work on my math homework first and then I'll take a break, and then I'll work a little bit on my English homework or something like that. And of course, we also have the construction paper. Uh, also, the color berries, you'll get just a random color and one full piece. And I noticed that I don't need the whole thing to do our little pocket. Again, this is our example. Uh, so you should be able to do two pockets. Uh, for example, this one I have today. And if you want, we'll make another pocket that says done things we already did we can get them out of our pocket Oops. and what also comes here is a ruler because we want to make a square and there's different ways to do it I will give you a measurement here in a second but here again ruler random color a glue stick to make our little pocket and a pencil not sharpened but you know you use this for school or again for this project if you want to write your stuff and this bookmark, if you guys have had, oops, <laughs> wrong way. Uh, I believe I put these in the last PJ Storytime craft kit. And I really like these because they're coloring. So coloring is a great way to like de-stress or something to do in between things. So I like that. 
And yeah, I believe that should be it for what's in the bag. Besides what's in the bag, you are gonna need course a pair of scissors um, maybe a pen and coloring pencils anything you want to use to decorate your visual cards and of course feel free to if you have stickers or anything now I wish I had stickers <laughs> to really decorate your pocket then you can feel free to do so but now that we have everything ready we can go ahead and get started okay so first things first before we even make our little envelope slash pocket um, I want to cut these out because Knowing having the little um, square cut out helps you shape your little pocket better to make sure that it's fitting in well and everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these out. Okay, so now we got all our pieces cut out. And you don't even have to cut all of them right away if you don't want to, especially if you're planning on making more. But I'm just gonna hold on to this one. Lunch, I like this one. So I'm gonna hold on to this one so we can use it as our guide. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my piece of paper. There. So I'm just gonna place this somewhere again because this is a because this is a big piece of paper. You're not gonna need the whole thing, but you do wanna get your card all the way at the edge. Here, I'll turn it so you can see it. Pretty much all the way at the edge. Because when you put it in your pocket, your card falls all the way down, so you want to make sure it's about that size. So I made this about three and a half by three and a half inches, but I'm actually going to make it four inches. That way we can leave a little bit of space for a fold, like that one, or a flap. I'm not sure what you would like to call it. <laughs> there you go. Just wanted to get a little closer so we could see. But, so as you can see, we have our zero little line aligned right at the edge of our paper just like that and I can see here the number four so I'm gonna go ahead and mark it there um, you can sharpen the pencil that came in your kit <laughs> I have a little pen with me so and you also want to make sure that this is straight yeah it still looks about right so anyway I'm gonna might mark my number four and what also find helps once you have it marked, just make a straight line. You don't have to go all the way down the paper, but just so it can serve as a guide for you. So you see like that. Again, make sure it's pretty straight. If you can't get it, that's okay. I'm sure your pocket will still work. There you go, something like that. And same thing, now we have to get four inches from this side. Since we already measured four here, now we need four here. So, to make it easier for me, I'm gonna turn my paper like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and measure four inches. Awesome. So therefore, if our four is here, we just mark our zero line. Right there. And same thing, gonna go ahead and just mark it, just to help me a little better when I'm cutting. And there you go. You should see that you now have a little square there. Okay, although we have our one square, I deconstructed the pocket here so you could see. It's actually two squares. And this little extra flappy is because we made it four inches instead of three and a half, like I had mentioned. So this is basically just the extra. So we don't have to worry about that. The only thing we have to worry about is just making another square. So I'm gonna make it right next to it. And same thing, we're gonna do four by four this time. This is gonna be our base line. So I'm gonna put my zero there. And about four this way. There you go. So we have our squares that we need to make our pocket. From here, if you're like me and you like to just compare, I find this more helpful. You can see that one of the squares is gonna have a little piece cut off. And I don't have an exact measurement for this because all I did was grab one of my cards. I just kind of popped it in here where I was like, I want it to be comfortably in there. And then I said, you know, I, I can cut off pretty much most of this and still allow my pocket to breathe. But if you would like to use an actual measurement, you can do half an inch. So go ahead and do half an inch so you can see around where that is. 
and I'm gonna mark it. Again, this is not super necessary. I don't think this part needs an exact measurement, but it helps if you wanna make it look really nice. There you go, that's our flap for the right side and now we just need a bottom flap. So same thing, I'm gonna make it here. For this one, I literally just drew it. <laughs> so as long as it's um, tall enough for you to be able to fold it over, you should be okay. Oh, there we go, we got this zoomed in. I'm gonna go ahead and just do something like this. You know, when you see something that's packaged and it has kind of like this little flap, not doesn't have to be perfect. Kind of like that. And perfect. That's it. That's all you need to secure the bottom of your envelope. And as for this one, you can leave it as a square, but you are going to end up having to cut these anyway. So if you want, you can already draw those little triangles there. And just like that, we have our template. So from here, we would just go ahead and cut. Just make sure not to accidentally cut your flaps. And you should be all good to go. Again, you do have space to make another one, so if you want to work on both, you can go ahead and do that now. Okay, there we are. I just cut it up. You can see here are lines. So when you fold it in, I like to fold it in this way, that way you're covering up your ink slash pen, if you, uh, ink slash uh, pencil if you use any. Um, but if you don't mind, then either way, it does not matter. I'm gonna fold my flaps. Fold, fold, fold. And then of course I'm gonna fold it down the center line. So I folded an extra little edge on this side just so it can close a little better for me. And you can see the bottom is already folded. So, and of course this end is also. There you go. Um, I think I'll start by gluing this, the tall flap. <laughs> I'm gonna squeeze it down there. I'm gonna grab my glue stick, of course. And I'm just gonna put glue on it. And press, 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 press. Press, press. And of course, on the other side, we have the bottom flap still. So let's go ahead and glue that. And there you go, that is one way to make a pocket. As you can see, it's just like that. That's just something I'm doing, see if that helps. Okay, so now we have a little, what do you call this, like an insert, like a place where we can put our things. Let's see how that works. So there we go, looks a little better. See, you're able to see um, your cards and what you have in them. So there you go, that's how you can make the pocket or just one of the ways to make it. Well, feel free to do it however you like. So, speaking of the schedule, so let's say we already set up our classroom. Let me stick that there. We took a water break. We'll put that there when we've done that. And we're in class. So again, we put that here once we're done with that. So yeah, I hope you found this fun and useful. I really like the idea of the visual schedule. For me, I love having, I have my planner and I kind of use highlighters and stuff to block out my time. So I think this is a great way to do it, especially if you're like me and sometimes it's a little hard to know where to start with school. Now that it's all virtual, but yes, please share with us if you found this useful or cool. And I'll also be sure to put the prints of this on our website in case you'd like to print more, uh, either the one with the images already or the blank one. So you can have the option to make more cards if you like. Okay, that should be it for this crap. We'll see you later. Okay, well, I hope that comes in handy for you. Um, I really, again, I love making schedules like that. Um, I don't use as much like the pictures one anymore as much as I like to like highlight blocks of time. But you know, that way you can make sure that you're getting your breaks so you're not burning yourself out either. Okay, so before we finish, I do want to do stretches, of course. And I think we've done this one before, but like um, doing the wrist stretches 
because same thing um i'm doing all the stuff in my computer not only we do work in the computer obviously but we also oh sorry but i <laughs> i go to uh, school on the computer so i feel like my wrists sometimes get a little weird because you're typing and then you're moving the mouse so what we can start with is just pressing our palms together kind of like this and just push as hard as you can almost like you're pushing against something or like a wall but just push as hard as you can and you see which hand can win i don't think it's possible actually <laughs> but just push push and then i like to do this and you start eh, stretching out one wrist and then the other one and if you like you can even do this if you just feel like maybe you have a little more strength here in your palms you can do it like this Yes, I'm going to breathe. Like that. And then we can stretch our arms straight up. Up, up, up. Like, like you're reaching for something. And when you put them to the side, just keep stretching all the way through. And oops, you might not be able to see. But I'm doing this with my wrist. I'm just rolling my wrist. I'm just going to move like this so you can see me. <laughs> yeah, just rolling your wrist to make sure you, you know getting them a little more adjusted and loose but yeah that's just a nice little stretch to do uh, when you're sitting so long same thing where it's like you know we might be sitting for a long time but when you get a chance get a little movement break in there or a stretch break <laughs> okay well thank you again for joining me for pg story time stay tuned for any schedule changes as well as our craft kits and other story times and our social media, just Facebook, Instagram, and of course our YouTube channel. Okay, everyone, I hope you have a great night.